You step onto a high-speed train in New York City, grab a coffee, settle into your seat, and close your eyes. Before you know it, you're stepping off in London. Just a few hours later, no jet lag, no airport security, no turbulence. Just a smooth, futuristic ride beneath the Atlantic Ocean. Instead of staring out at clouds from an airplane window, you're watching the deep blue abyss teeming with marine life as your train glides through a marvel of human engineering. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi novel, right? That's because, well, it is. A tunnel connecting the United States and Europe is an idea that has fascinated engineers, travelers, and futurists for decades. The benefits would be enormous, faster travel, increased trade, and a massive reduction in carbon emissions. But no matter how appealing the idea is, it's riddled with challenges so enormous that it remains an impossible dream, at least for now. So why hasn't this happened? And why won't it happen anytime soon? Let's break down the obstacles, the wild proposals, and the far-off future where such a project might just become possible. What would possibly make this Herculean task worth the effort? Well, there are several compelling reasons that make this project intriguing, especially when we look at it through the lens of trade, tourism, and sustainability. One of the most obvious reasons is trade. The United States and Europe are two of the world's largest economic powerhouses, and their trade relationship is massive. According to the Office of the United States Trade Representative, trade in goods and services between the US and the European Union in 2022 exceeded a staggering $1.3 trillion per year. Most of this trade occurs through cargo ships and air freight, both of which have their limitations. Cargo ships are slow and expensive to maintain, while air freight can be costly and often unreliable, especially when weather and logistical issues come into play. A high-speed tunnel running under the Atlantic could completely revolutionize the way goods are transported between these two regions. A system where goods could be shipped at lightning speeds would cut down on both transportation time and costs. It's easy to see how this could significantly boost international trade, benefiting businesses, consumers, and economies on both sides of the Atlantic. The ability to move goods quickly and efficiently across such a great distance would be a game changer, enhancing global commerce in ways we've never seen before. Then, there's tourism. Every year, 12 million people travel back and forth across the Atlantic, and the vast majority rely on air travel. But flying between Europe and the US comes with its own set of challenges, from delays to turbulence and rising costs. They're expensive, time-consuming, and often subject to delays caused by weather, airport congestion, and other unforeseen circumstances. A high-speed tunnel could transport passengers across the ocean in just a few hours. The ability to book a simple, efficient train ride instead of an expensive flight could make international travel more accessible and less taxing. The tunnel could provide a more predictable, stable, and even cheaper way to travel, opening up more options for tourists and business people alike. What's more, the environmental impact of such a tunnel would be significant. Air travel is one of the leading contributors to global carbon emissions. With increasing concerns about climate change, finding more sustainable travel options has never been more urgent. Planes burn enormous amounts of fuel, and that fuel consumption contributes to the global warming crisis. But if the tunnel were powered by renewable energy, solar, wind, or even tidal, a high-speed train running on clean electricity could revolutionize transatlantic travel, slashing its carbon footprint in the process. All these points make the idea of an Atlantic tunnel sound incredibly promising. The potential benefits are immense. It could revolutionize international trade, make transatlantic travel far more efficient and sustainable, and provide a major boost to environmental efforts. On paper, it seems like a no-brainer, a groundbreaking innovation that could reshape the way we live, work, and travel. But as we know, big ideas are often easier to dream up than to execute. The idea of digging a tunnel under the Atlantic Ocean comes with a staggering list of challenges that make it, quite frankly, nearly impossible. We'll need to talk about these obstacles because while the benefits are tantalizing, the reality of constructing such a tunnel involves navigating some massive hurdles. From extreme depth and water pressure to the technical challenges of tunneling through such a vast body of water, 
There are many aspects of this dream that could quickly turn into a nightmare. Let's dive on into the challenges that would make this project not just difficult, but likely unfeasible. The sheer distance and cost involved in creating a transatlantic tunnel are enough to make anyone question whether it's even remotely possible. Let's break it down and see just how massive this project would be. The Atlantic Ocean is one of the largest bodies of water on Earth, and attempting to tunnel through it is a monumental challenge. The shortest distance between the US and mainland Europe is around 3,000 miles, which already puts the scale of the project into perspective. For comparison, the Channel Tunnel that connects the UK and France at just 31 miles long is a fraction of the distance needed for a transatlantic tunnel. Hailed as a remarkable engineering feat, it pales in comparison to the sheer scale of what crossing the Atlantic would require, at least 100 times longer than any underwater tunnel ever attempted. It's not just about length, though. The ocean floor presents its own set of challenges. The depth of the ocean varies greatly, with some parts plunging as deep as 12,000 feet. That means any tunnel would need to contend with extreme pressure and the technical challenges that come with working at such great depths. The seabed also varies from rocky terrain to soft sediments, each presenting its own difficulties in terms of digging and stabilizing the tunnel. Apart from this, another obstacle is the geopolitical and political complexities involved. Building a tunnel under the Atlantic Ocean would require unprecedented cooperation between countries, including the United States, Canada, the UK, and several European nations. The Atlantic Ocean isn't just a body of water, it's a major boundary between multiple nations, each with its own political agendas, regulatory systems, and priorities. For starters, there's the issue of land rights and sovereignty. The United States and European nations have established maritime borders, and these boundaries would need to be reconsidered when constructing a tunnel that cuts across the ocean. Different countries would need to set aside their individual interests in favor for a common goal, which in itself would be a Herculean task. The political hurdles, funding, maintenance, and profit sharing could spark years if not decades of negotiations before a single concrete plan takes shape. Moreover, such a project would raise serious national security concerns. A transatlantic tunnel could serve as a vital link for trade and travel, but it could also become a gateway for smuggling, espionage, and other security threats. Nations would face the challenge of regulating and monitoring the tunnel likely clashing over control, jurisdiction, and safety protocols. With each country having a vested interest in its operation and security, cooperation would be essential, yet incredibly difficult to achieve. Estimates suggest the cost of such a project could reach almost $20 trillion, which brings us to the financial implications. Even if the political obstacles could be overcome, securing funding for a transatlantic tunnel would require a global effort, with contributions from governments, private investors, and international organizations. But with such a colossal price tag, questions around the economic viability of the project would undoubtedly arise. One of the biggest concerns concerns is the return on investment. While a transatlantic tunnel could, in theory, transport both goods and passengers, the reality is that demand wouldn't justify the cost for decades, if not centuries. The Channel Tunnel, which cost around $21 billion in today's money, faced years of financial struggles and took decades to turn a profit. A project of this scale would likely face even greater economic challenges. A transatlantic tunnel would likely face similar delays in terms of profitability. The ROI might not materialize until well into the future, which means countries and investors would need to make long-term financial commitments, something that's hard to achieve in today's rapidly changing economy. And in a world where technology is advancing at a breakneck pace, there are legitimate concerns about how long such an infrastructure investment would remain relevant. High-speed air travel and even potential advancements in space travel could make a transatlantic tunnel seem outdated before it even gets off the ground. The question arises, would it be worth pouring trillions of dollars into a project that could be rendered obsolete by future technological innovations? The economic gamble would be huge. Beyond the political and financial challenges, the social and cultural impact of a transatlantic tunnel would also be significant. 
If such a tunnel were ever constructed, it could fundamentally change the way people connect, not just physically, but culturally and economically. Imagine instant travel between continents, commuting from New York to London in just a few hours. While thrilling, such a breakthrough could drastically reshape international relations, migration patterns, and even our daily lives. Such a tunnel could change the global workforce. It would make it easier for people to travel across continents for work, education, and tourism. Companies would be able to hire talent from anywhere, making the workforce truly global. However, this might also result in job displacement as the cost of international travel drops significantly. Smaller industries that rely on regional borders might find themselves competing in a much broader, more intense global market. On the flip side, such a breakthrough could redefine how we perceive cities and nations. If crossing the Atlantic becomes as effortless as a train ride, the geographical boundaries that have shaped cultural and political identities for centuries might start to fade. Cities like New York and London might become even more interconnected, leading to greater economic and cultural integration. But it also raises the question, would this result in the loss of individual national identities or lead to a more homogenized global culture? Additionally, the environmental impact of such a project could be substantial. While the tunnel might initially seem like a cleaner alternative to air travel, the carbon footprint of constructing and maintaining a transatlantic tunnel would be enormous. Mining and tunneling on such a massive scale would release significant amounts of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Could the environmental cost of the project outweigh the potential benefits? While we're on the topic of the environment, it's essential to consider the ecological effects of a transatlantic tunnel. While the idea of reducing carbon emissions from air travel is an appealing one, building a tunnel under the Atlantic Ocean would come with its own set of environmental risks. The construction would likely disturb marine ecosystems in unprecedented ways. The process of digging through the seabed could disrupt fish populations, undersea plants, and even fragile coral reefs. Not only that, but the operation of the tunnel would require a significant amount of energy. Trains, ventilation systems, and other infrastructure would need power, and the tunnel itself would have to be constantly monitored and maintained. While it's possible that renewable energy could be used to power the tunnel, it's unlikely that a project of this scale could be entirely green. The long-term ecological impacts are hard to predict, but they could be considerable. Assuming an unlimited budget, could we even construct a tunnel like this? The short answer is probably not. The first and most daunting challenge is the sheer depth of the Atlantic Ocean. With an average depth of around 12,000 feet, constructing a tunnel there would be like building at the height of Mount Everest, only deep underwater. Even more staggering, certain parts of the ocean, like the Puerto Rico Trench, can reach depths of 28,000 feet. These kinds of depths are far beyond the reaches of current tunnel construction technology. But why is depth such a critical issue? It's not just about digging a hole, it's about the immense pressure at those depths. As you descend into the ocean, the weight of the water above creates crushing pressures. For context, at 12,000 feet, the pressure is around 5,400 pounds per square inch. That's roughly 350 times the atmospheric pressure at sea level. To put it simply, anything we currently use for construction, such as steel and concrete, would be crushed or destroyed by such intense forces. We would need materials that could withstand these enormous pressures, yet no material on the market today can handle these conditions over the long term. So, what materials would be required to build a tunnel at such depths? The unfortunate answer is that we simply don't know yet. There would need to be significant breakthroughs in material science to develop materials that can handle the crushing pressure and harsh underwater conditions. Traditional materials like steel and concrete would fail under this pressure. While newer alloys might be stronger, they still haven't been tested in such extreme conditions. Building such a tunnel would require us to rethink not only construction techniques, but the very materials we use to create these structures.